just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his plan. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red fan. As he waves to greet them, maybe you can never be sure they'll be not waiting letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Nasty day, said Pat. Jess looked out at the rain. He hated wet days. What a day. Wet letters, wet everything. It was still raining when Pat reached the village post office. What dreadful weather. Just look at these letters. Imagine them getting so wet just being posted. It's like a wet wash day. <laughs> I see what you mean. Never mind, they'll soon dry. You'd best watch out for floods up the valley. There's more rain forecast, you know. Mm, don't you worry, Mrs. Goggins. The post will get through. Oh, it stopped raining. Cheerio. Pat was on his way. What a dismal day it was. Some people still had lights on indoors. to Peter Fogg. Pat stopped to find out. It's this blooming rain. My old tractor's bogged down in the bottom meadow. It's our flooded down there. Then I went and fell in the mud. <laughs> you look as if you've had a bath in it. I just about have. I'm off home for some dry clothes, then I'll get the new tractor to pull the old one out. Good luck, said Pat. I think it's fairing up now. Cheerio. When Pat arrived at the school, some of the children were looking out to see if the rain had stopped. Surprised to see Charlie Pringle running out for the letters instead of Bill Thompson. Hello, Charlie. Where's Bill then? He's off school today. They say there's flooding up at Thompson Ground. He'll be helping his dad get the sheep in. Well, don't drop the letters. They've already had one wetting. It's nice to see someone enjoying the rain, thought Pat.
watch it. Cheerio! He saw Peter Fogg again. He changed his clothes. Here, Bart. Come and have a look at this. He showed Pat his new tractor with its bulldozer blade. This'll shift anything, he said. Hm, bet it would, said Pat. Oh, here's your mail. Oh, Tad. Bye. Tim's was having trouble with the rain, too. Just and the unjust. Look out. I'll ask Ted Glenn to bring his ladders and have a look at that roof, said Pat. Bye. Farewell, Pat. Sam Walden was just along the road. Take it steady, Pat, said Sam. The roads are flooding up the valley. <laughs> the old van will get me through, said Pat. I'll just take a bunch of bananas. The wife loves them. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Jess was glad to stay in the van to keep out of the wet. into the hills when they saw Mrs. Thompson standing in the road, waving to make them stop. Hello, Mrs. Thompson. What's going on? said Pat. There are terrible floods in the top fields, Pat. And the water's brought tons of earth down and blocked the road. Come and see. Oh, dear me, said Pat. Can we telephone the village for help? No, the lines are down. Well, can't we walk round it? No, oh, it's too dangerous with these floods. And you could be buried if the land started to slip again. Here comes Alf. He's going to try to get through with his tractor. Do you think you can do it? Said Pat. Oh, I'll have a jolly good try. Off he went at top speed. And got stuck.
It's no good, said Al. We'll have to get help somehow. Then Bill came with his model aeroplane. I know, he said. We can put a message on my plane, and I can fly it across to Greendale Farm to get help. It's radio controlled, see? What a good idea. Clever lad. We'll send an airmail letter. So Pat scribbled a note. S O S. That'll do it. He tied it to the plane with a bit of Alf's binder twine. Good luck. Let's hope it gets through. Oh, I think he'll manage it. He's a clever lad. He built it himself, you know. Bill started the engine. And off it flew. Away she goes. That's better than a van. <laughs> I wonder if I could swap mine for a helicopter. It seemed ages since the plane had gone. Pat was just thinking it must have crashed when he heard a powerful engine coming up the road on the other side of the blockage. It was Peter Fogg on his new tractor with the bulldozer blade. Got your message? Mind your back! Sam Waldron through. There was just enough room. <laughs> Ted Glenn was mending a wall for Mr. Pottage. had remembered something. Can you go and have a look at the church roof, Ted? The Reverend's got the church full of buckets. <laughs> I'll pop along when I've finished this wall. Blooming rain. It makes no end of work. Miss Hubbard was on her way to choir practice. I'd turn back if I were you, said Pat. <laughs> well, you might have to swim home. Swim? said Miss Hubbard. It'll take more than a drop of rain to stop me. And on she went. I'll be on my way too, said Pat. Cheerio. As Pat wound his way along the valley, it looked like rain again. But there was a warm fireside to look forward to. <laughs> when all the letters had been delivered. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. 